Welcome to Fishing Sim World Single Player Tournaments. I'm going to go back to Predator Tournaments, in particular the Predator International Qualifiers. As you can see on the screen, when I last played this, I came second. So I'm going to redo this because in um, one, some of the comments um, last night, I think it was Lee, um, I was talking about this and um, I believe possibly he was having a little bit of difficulty on this lake and I must admit I find this one slightly more difficult than the other ones. In fact, I've used techniques in this. I think this is set at sunset clear sky and I've used techniques in this and I don't seem to catch as easily as I would just in free play. So I'm going to give it another go. Right, what peg shall we pick? I'm going to go for the west peg. Okay, so we are off. Right, I'm going to select the peg because I want, I think, rod number three. Let me just swap over to rod number three. Let's just get this set up here. Rod number three. Ridge Monkey, 20 pound line. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep the booty shaker on and um, just have a, tr uh, have, a uh, have a chuck and try me luck. I think, you know, it's possibly is just luck actually in this tournament. I think the pike in here go up to 19 pounds. We want pike and perch. They are the species of fish that are going to count in this competition. Now normally in single player um, free play, if I come here sunset and come down to this peg and stick the booty shaker on, boom, I'm getting pike. But uh, in this tournament, I don't seem to be having um, much luck. I know when I previously played it, um, I came second. As you saw at the beginning, I was moving around. Oh, there we go. We've got one. What have we got? It's a pike. Now, like I previously mentioned, I think the pike go up to about around 19 pounds. Um, mind you, that is the, uh, I think that's the trophy fish. They might go bigger. I haven't had any bigger pike out of here than 19 pounds. Um, I don't know if there is bigger pike. If you've had bigger pike, let me know in the comment section below, because there may be bigger pike in here. But uh, I think the trophy pike is 19 pounds and possibly there's another trophy pike which is uh, around 16 pounds I think. Or thereabouts. And they tend to be quite quick in this lake because um, they're, not the, uh, they're not the big huge pike. Well I haven't had a big huge pike out of this lake. Um, up to this point anyway. So there we go, that's a good start, 24.43 inches that pike was, this competition goes in length, not weight, let's have another chuck of the uh, booty shaker, that, if you haven't got the booty shaker, um, that is actually a DLC lure, it's in um, the Predator Hunters um, pack, the booty shaker is, swim bait gold is also good. And um, generally, I do get the bigger pike um, from off the bottom. I don't know whether that's just luck. When I fish on the top, I tend to get the smaller pike of around ten pounds. Might be just the way it's going for me. Might be different for you guys, but uh, that's just the way I found it. I do tend to get the bigger pike off the bottom. Although this isn't my favourite lake, um, I don't fish it that often, so um, you know. Might just be the way the cookie crumbles for me when I'm uh, when I'm fishing here. 
Oh, do you see that pike then in the water? Can we get it? Okay, I'm going to change. Um, I'm going to ch take that lure off. Let's have a go of the uh, the swim bait gold. Let's have a few chucks with that one. When I previously did this competition, I did move around the lake. I only managed second. Well, I say only managed second. I was on the podium, so that was good enough for me. Um, I'm going to stay in this one spot this time and just see where I actually uh, when I actually come will I get a podium finish looking good at the moment but uh, it's not going to stay that way there we go <laughs> straight away Johnny from Fowler is in first place right I'm going to change let's go for the top water the top water um, lure, pencil bait spectrum. If you see fish moving about on the surface, it's generally a good idea to uh, cast in that direction. So we'll keep his eyes scanning the water. Generally, if you cast towards the fish, you can usually um, catch them. Usually the perch. But uh, we'll see how it goes with this. Uh, Top water law, the pencil bait. I'm falling down now. I'm in fourth position. We're dropping. We need to start catching fish. Now, like I previously mentioned, in single player, free player, if I come on this lake, these techniques are usually I'm banging fish out. But in this tournament, it does seem a little bit more difficult. I'm going to change again. I'm going to go for the uh, the uh, booty shaker. Let's try the booty shaker again. We had a pike, I think, on the booty shaker. Let's, uh, let's have another chuck on it. Currently in fifth place. If we start falling any lower. It's going to be really difficult to uh, probably get back up into the top three. We need to start catching. Might be a good idea in this tournament to actually have, actually walk around the lake and cast towards where the fish are when you see them on the surface. I've just seen one near the edge on the surface. We're on the bottom at the moment. See, I can see them on the surface just in the right and right in the right of the screen. I've just seen another one on the surface, and uh, just another one just under the leaderboards there on the surface. So, and another one right at the edge. <laughs> on the surface, so let's go for a top water lure again. Go for the pencil bait royal this time. Nice, bright one. Cast out into the middle. I'll just do a slow retrieve, speed one on the reel. I've seen a pike there, there was a pike right by the lure then. I think it was a pike. Will it come back, take the bait? There we go. Perfect strike. Is it a pike or a perch? I think it's a perch. They all count, perch or pike. How far up the leaderboards has this put us now? We're in third. We've got just over 11 minutes left. I've slipped back down to fourth. Cast right back out into the middle again. Well, as far out as I can go anyway. There we go. This feels a good one. This feels like a pike. Slip 
down to fifth. Hopefully this one may put us in in uh, first position. Top of the leaderboards, hopefully. I've got the £20 line on just because of the pike in here, because they do um, run off fast. I sometimes fish mostly. I actually, when I come on this lake, I generally just use the £7 line. But uh, you have to do a lot of adjustments on the reel if the pike tend to uh, shoot off. So I've chose the £20 line. This should be a pike. There we go. Hopefully this will put us number one position, or, or in the top three at least. What's the score? There you go. Straight in at number one. Oh, we fell straight back down to number two. Dear, oh dear. We didn't stay at the top very long. Let's cast back out into the middle again and just try his luck. Cast in a different place, work the area, there we go, perfect strike, that's another pike, that's melting away across the lake, <laughs> this is a good one. Now I, gen now I did say, not generally, I did say, well I do generally get the bigger pike off the bottom, but this we've had off the top, and this does feel like a good pike. Of course, I will never know the weight of it, we'll just know the size. So we're on 62.5 inches at the moment. There you go, we can see the pike. This must be around the 14 pound pike, surely. We're only going to get a rough guide of its length when we get it on the bank and actually slipped into fifth place now. So I retract what I said earlier at the beginning of the video. You can actually get the bigger pike off the top. We've just got one. Right, so what have we gone up to? 86 inches. 
we were on 60 something weren't we so you know that was that was 20 something and 20 something inches in length I think we were I think we were on about 60 were we on 62 inches before can't quite remember so that would make that fish approximately 24 inches I can't remember what we were on before but uh, you can work it out yourself that was quite that was quite a good fish we had it off the top So we're back in first position, but it's very, very close at the top. Very close indeed. Just over five minutes left. We've got a perch. Come on, Wobbles, there we go. <laughs> Five minutes approximately left. Position number one, very, very close. Between the top four there. Okay, I've just seen a fish on the surface. I'm going to cast towards that fish. It was, it was a lot closer in than where I've just casted to, but uh, let's see. Try our luck. It's getting very close now. Just look at that. Between the top position, 99, just over 99 inches, and second position is 90 inches. This is cutting it fine. Be terrible if I didn't get on the podium. <laughs> Can do with a few perch or something. Good pike, and we would most definitely win it. Oh, look at that! Second position is now 93 inches. Let's scour the water. Can we see any fish moving around on the top? This is getting very, very close. Are we going to win? Am I going to get gold? I'm holding on to first position at the moment. We've got just over two minutes left. Another fish. Come on, we need another good fish. And um, I'll be pretty confident in holding on to that top position. A lot of fish moving around on the surface there. Right at the very end, again we're struggling to catch a fish. Two minutes left approximately. Just look how close it is now at the top, the top three, the top four, just look how close it is. Literally inches in the top three. Can we see any fish moving? There's, there's one right near the edge, but we'll go Let's cast out in the middle one. Had most of them this way in the in the middle, I think, and reeling back. Just over one minute left. Boy, it's getting close. This is close. It just needs if that number two position and number three or number four position gets a good fish. Oh, boom, we're in. That's a perch. 
and get that one in pretty quickly. Hopefully, none of the other competitors, AI competitors, will get a pike because if they get a good pike, we will lose possibly. There's a fish right at the edge jumping. See if we can get that one. Let's just reel it back roughly in that direction. I think the perch jumping. There we go. That's another perch. Just over 30 seconds, 35 seconds left. It's on the bank. <laughs> we ripped it out the water on that 20 pound line. Put that one in the net real quick. Let's have another try. 25 seconds left. We've got quite a lead now by catching them little perch. Lots of little fish jumping near the edge. Well, not jumping, but you can see them on the surface. So let's see if we can uh, if we can get another one of them. We've got nine, three. Oh, look at this. Are we going to win this? I think we are. There we go, yes! I got gold previously when I tried this. I didn't. I think it was second position, wasn't it? Was it second or third I came? But this time around, we've managed to get the gold. That's the way I did it this time. I hope that's helped you chaps if you're struggling on this lake. I do find it quite difficult. Others might, may find it easy. I just think it's luck, really. Previously when I did this, I was moving around the lake. This time I stayed in one spot. I managed to get first position. If you like the video, guys, smack the like button. Let's beat them haters. There we go. We get the trophy. Yes. First position.